The following program is sponsored by CBN. Welcome to the 700 Club. Anti-Semitism is alive and well, even in the halls of Congress. That's what Vice President Mike Pence told CBN News in an exclusive interview. The Vice President was in Jerusalem at the World Holocaust Forum. He also talked about why Bible-believing Christians strongly support Israel and the Jewish people. CBN's David Brody spoke with him in the Old City. The Holocaust may be in the past, but the hatred towards the Jewish people and the rise of anti-Semitism is very much in the present. And that was part of the conversation that I had with the Vice President Mike Pence near the Western Wall. Well, there is a rising tide of vile anti-Semitism that's emerging all around the world. We've seen it result in violence at synagogues in Pittsburgh and in Los Angeles, and the loss of life. And, but we've also seen it manifested in, in rhetoric, not only the, the, uh, the BDS movement attempting to get people to divest uh, from Israel, thinly veiled anti-Semitism, but even in the halls of Congress. Uh, we've heard anti-Semitic rhetoric that, uh, that has not been roundly and universally condemned as it should be. Referring to Ilan Omar and Rashida Tlaib, people like that who have said... Well, for people to traffic in, in anti-Semitic slurs and tropes and not be held to account for that, uh, it's just unacceptable. The VP may be here in Israel, but the talk back home is all about the president's impeachment trial. Democrats want to see John Bolton testify. Do you have any reason to believe John Bolton has any information that uh, would be worthy of bringing him forward? Well, I, I think all the call for additional witnesses and evidence uh, just proves how weak a case the Democrats rushed through the House of Representatives. It, it really is amazing. I mean, this comes down to a phone call that the president made with President Zelensky of Ukraine. People can read the transcript of the call. They can see there was no quid pro quo. The president did nothing wrong. There's not even a crime that is alleged, let alone a high crime or misdemeanor or treason or bribery. And they'll reject this, these two articles, uh, and acquit the president. Traveling to Israel is not just political for Pence. As a Bible-believing Christian, it's deeply spiritual, too. Can you educate folks as to why evangelical Christians have a love for Israel, have a love for the Jewish people? For Christian believers, we're grounded in the conviction that we're called to bless Israel. The Bible tells us that those who bless her will be blessed and those who curse her will be cursed. And really, since before the American founding, Americans called for the restoration of Israel to the promised land. And when Israel was restored in 1948, America was the first nation on earth to recognize the Jewish state of Israel. And we've been with them every step of the way because it's a heart connection. David Brody, CBN News, Jerusalem. It's wonderful to see a world leader who gets it, who understands the history, how America has supported the state of Israel even before our founding. Go back and read the the writings of Ezra Stiles, the president of Yale University during the American Revolution, uh, and his support for a nation of Israel, his reading of the Bible, Israel will be reborn. You look at uh, these things, and this is even before all of what was happening in, in, in Europe a century later. We have been supporting Israel for a very long time. It's in our nation's DNA and it's wonderful and the reason our nation has been blessed. You can see more of David's interview with the Vice President on a special program this Sunday at 8 p.m. on Freeform. You can also watch it on the CBN News Channel. How do you get that? Well, you can download it for free. If you've got a smart TV, if you've got a tablet, if you've got a phone, if you've got a Roku, if you've got an Amazon Fire, you've got an Apple TV, all of those things, you can watch the CBN News Channel uh, 24 hours a day. We'll also spend, send you special alerts uh, to your phone or to your tablet, all free. All you have to do is download the app. In other news, President Trump says he'll release his Middle East peace plan in the next few days. John Jessup has that story from our CBN News Bureau in Washington. John? 
That's right, Gordon. The president is expected to roll out the long-awaited plan next week before Tuesday's White House meeting with both Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and his chief political rival, General Benny Gantz. Vice President Pence said the White House invited Gantz at Netanyahu's request. The plan is expected to be favorable to Israel, and Palestinians have already raised doubts about it. Well, here in Washington, Democrats present their final day of impeachment arguments against President Trump today. The focus now shifts to the second article of impeachment, claiming the president obstructed their investigation. Skeptical Republicans, growing tired of the trial's long hours, have defended Trump's actions in dealing with Ukraine as appropriate. The president's legal team begins its three days of arguments tomorrow. Meanwhile, the president himself speaks at the March for Life today in Washington. Well, American health officials are monitoring three possible new cases of the coronavirus here in the United States, although the chances of a major outbreak here are considered low. China is quickly building a 1,000-bed hospital dedicated to patients infected with the virus. The hospital is being built in the city of Wuhan, the epicenter of the outbreak. It's one of the at least 10 cities under lockdown because of the virus. Well, we'll be back with much more of the 700 Club right after this. Kent and Linnell never worry about money. The couple traced their financial success back to a decision they made when they first married. And since then, Kent's salary has multiplied five times. Kent and Linnell Solner have three kids and a busy household. Throughout our marriage, we've been so blessed. We've not been in a position of need. You know, we've always had all of our needs met, plus some. The Solners say the secret to their success is giving. We've realized over the years it's just better to give. Give it to God and we know that we're going to be blessed. Kent works in the grain business buying and selling commodities. I grew up on a farm, so I grew up with a love for agriculture. When I was starting on my job search, I came across the grain business and saw that there was a need for finance. And so with my background in agriculture, it led me down that road and it's been quite a blessing. He and Linnell say tithing has been a priority since they married in 2003. Since we've been committed givers, we've just seen nothing but an increase in income. In 2006, while they were tithing regularly, Ken was challenged to tithe off his gross income. It planted the seed and, and God took that as an opportunity to speak into me a bit. So once we changed our heart um, to tithing off of gross, God just started to bless us even more. Ken saw steady increases in his salary and was promoted at his job. As their income grew, the Solners increased their giving. Five years later, Ken says God gave him a new challenge, to put a cap on their income and give the rest away. From that point on, we've done that to where, you know, we, we, we tithe our amount uh, every year, but if we have blessings that are flowing in that it's above and beyond a certain income level, we'll just look to give it away to whatever God has for us at that time. The Solners say they don't worry about the future. Since they started giving, Ken's salary has multiplied five times. Even with where it's capped, it's more than we need. It's just been um, humbling how much we've been blessed financially. In 2016, they became CBN partners. It gives you a very warm feeling knowing that your finances are going to something that has great kingdom impact. When we give our money to CBN, we know that it's going to all these places that we might not ever get to, whether it's building a well or helping with some of the disaster relief. When they get into the prayer time and just what the Holy Spirit is putting on their hearts and just what's speaking through them, it's just so powerful. Um, those, those things really resonate with me. The Solners want others to know the peace they have found in giving. The Lord gave me a picture of what tithing looks like um, physically. He says when you hang on tightly to it, it's like grasping onto water. And if you do that, the water is just going to all trickle eventually right out through your fingertips. And in the process, it's stressful and you're tense. He says, but if you would just relax and open up your hand, it naturally becomes a posture of both giving and receiving, and you'll see that there's always water left. We just release it to Him and allow Him to pour into us and lead us to pour out onto others. Kent and Linnell are certain, if you are obedient, 
God keeps his promises. If you look at God for your first investment, it's the best return on investment you'll ever have. Just try tithing and you'd be amazed. God says, test me in this and I will open the floodgates. He'll do what he says. He's a God of his word. Here's a principle to live by. It's from Corinthians, 2 Corinthians chapter 9. He who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and he who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. So let each one give as he purposes in his heart, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loves a cheerful giver. And God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that you, always having sufficiency in all things, may have an abundance for every good work. For Kent and Linnell, that is their fundamental principle. We want to give. We want to give generously. We want to give cheerfully. And God has blessed them. He will do that for you. Why? Because he watches over his word to perform it. He will perform it for you. The Lockmans were stressed out about money. Like many Americans, they were living paycheck to paycheck. Then one day, this couple made a decision that tripled their income. During their first year of marriage, Josh and Liz Lockman saved enough money to move from Indiana to Redding, California, where they enrolled in Bethel School of Ministry. But before long, they were running out of money. We went with a lot of faith that God would do great things, and it actually turned out to be very hard. I was stressed out about finances, like most of the time. Josh kept trying to get jobs while we were in Redding, California and um, no jobs were coming. We really felt like if we didn't get financial provision, we'd have to go home down to less than $5 and starting to get behind on some of the bills. When there was income, Josh and Liz were always faithful to tithe, a discipline they both practiced since they were young. So it wasn't ever a question of, should we stop tithing? <laughs> no, we knew, like, you honor God first and then um, he'll take care of everything else. With only a few dollars left and bills continuing to mount, they stayed up all night praying for a miracle. The next day in class, God answered their prayer when their teacher, Chris Vallotton, made an announcement. Anyone that is going to go home if money doesn't come in, um, stand up. And so Josh and I, of course, we stood up. And then Chris Vallotton asked the other students to give money to the ones that needed it. And a bunch of students swarmed us. And then from then on, we had you know, more miracles and just a consistent flow. Miracles just kept coming. I mean, it was a direct answer to prayer. So and we got enough money to, to encourage us and to keep going. He definitely showed up. <laughs> yeah. They finished the year of school and moved back to Indiana where Josh got a job in construction. Still, they live paycheck to paycheck. Frustrated, Josh turned to the Bible for answers. I'd get uh, verses on financial provision, write them on three by five cards and, and memorize them, meditate on them. I saw it was his will and his word to provide and bless his kids. And I started to have faith for that. So with new confidence, they once again turned to God for help when they needed an idea for a second income. And we both knelt down together by the bed and we asked God for a second income. I saw a picture in my mind of a honeybee and Josh saw a picture of a honey stick. Um, and we saw it separately and we'd never talked about beekeeping before. What God was speaking to me was that was honeybees would be a second income. They began keeping bees and selling honey. They then moved to the Atlanta area and Josh added bee removal services. Soon, the business was thriving. At the time, I had no idea what, what it would become. It was just almost started like a hobby more than a second income, but they grew it beyond my wildest expectations. So what happened is we tripled our income. So from what we had before. Josh and Liz believe their success stems from their commitment to trust God and tithe. One ministry they give to is CBN. We know in God's word that it says, give and it shall be given to you, press down, shaken together. And so for us, it, um, when we give to God and we look for good ground where we're like, that's a good ministry to give to, um, we know we're gonna reap a good harvest. And when we have access to His generosity and we can ask for anything, we end up becoming generous, and we end up seeing that we can never outgive God, ever. As they look to the future, Josh and Liz believe God will continue to provide as they trust Him with their lives and finances. I'm just confident that He'll, he'll provide and I don't have to worry. He says, seek first His kingdom and everything will be added unto you. And I found that to be very true. 
Here's a principle from Genesis. It's the second time tithing is mentioned. Abraham tithed to Melchizedek, and then Jacob makes a vow. Jacob made a vow. If God will be with me and keep me in this way that I am going and give me bread to eat and clothing to put on so that I come back to my father's house in peace, then the Lord shall be my God. And this stone which I have set up as a pillar shall be God's house. And all that you give me, I will surely give a tenth to you. The original Hebrew, giving a tenth, I will give a tenth to, to you. It's giving repeatedly. It's saying, I will tithe. I will truly tithe. I will surely tithe. This is one of the foundational principles in the Bible. And when you covenant with God, I will do this, wonderful things will happen for you. For Joshua and Elizabeth, you see it. God gave them a wonderful idea of how to, it started out as a second income, and then it just grew and grew and grew because that's what God's ideas do. They grow. And you see a wonderful blessing for them, for their family, for the people around them, and especially for the spread of the gospel. You can do that too. All you have to do is determine in your heart, I will tithe, I will surely tithe, I will truly tithe. And when you do that in all of your affairs, that's when the blessings come. I've got some great news. Some existing CBN partners from Florida love giving to CBN. They love it so much, they want to challenge others to give. So they'll match your giving dollar for dollar, $80,000. Lord, bless the partners who made it possible. Bless those who are given, given sacrificially. Let them know that your favor is upon them. Lord, give them creative ideas. Give them your, your spirit. Speak to them. For those who are watching right now, bless and encourage them. We ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. 80,000 is the challenge amount. Clock is 39 minutes, 39 seconds. Call us right now and say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. How much is that? $20 a month. Some can join at 700 Club Gold, $40 a month. 1,000 Club, $84 a month, and that adds up to $1,000 a year. 2,500 Club is 2,500 a year, and then founder, 5,000 or more a year. At whatever level, do it now because your giving is matched dollar for dollar, $80,000. Terry? And guess what? We've got a gift for you. When you join the 700 Club, our way of saying thank you is to send you Pat Robertson's latest book. You're going to love this. It's called 10 Laws for Success, Keys to Win in Work, Family, and Finance. Here's what actor Kevin Sorbo has to say about it. Hi, I'm Kevin Sorbo, and I want to tell you about a phenomenal book that I just read. Ten Laws for Success by Pat Robertson. See, I firmly believe it can transform your life and the, the lives of those that you care about. In this book, Pat shares the supernatural secrets he's discovered and shows you the way to a rich and fulfilling life. In the book, Ten Laws for Success, Pat shares biblical life principles that can put you on a path to purpose, fulfillment, and achievement. Call 1-800-700-7000 or go to CBN.com to receive your own copy today. 10 Laws for Success. This dynamic book is a must read for anyone who wants to achieve their goals, build a solid financial foundation, and grow in their relationship with God. I highly recommend that you get your own copy of Pat Robertson's latest book, 10 Laws for Success. God bless you. biblical principles to live by and in 10 laws for success pat not only identifies them he tells us how we can integrate them into our lives you're going to love this it's our way of saying thank you for caring about others so call now 1-800-700-7000 say i want to join the 700 club and we'll get 10 laws for success out to you right away gordon well sandy and trish toomer spent years on the mission field today they're back home and they've started a second career Still, Sandy and Trish say their focus is the same. They're using their business as a way to serve others. Early in their marriage, coffee company owners Sandy and Trish Toomer weren't concerned about saving money. They just wanted to enjoy it. I had a good job. She had a good job. You know, went to Mexico. We did different things. We spent everything we made, and there was nothing to show for it. But this lifestyle left both of them feeling lost and empty until finally. 
God got hold of me and I said, I've really messed up and I repented that day. I was smoking, I was drinking. The Holy Spirit said, you need to make a choice. I got down off the bed and that's where I got saved. That's where I prayed to receive was that night. From then on, the couple dedicated their lives and their finances to the Lord. It wasn't until the Lord got us both right with Him that we jumped into tithing. We started doing the 10% thing just immediately. We weren't rich, but we always had what we needed for what we needed to do. So when we had opportunities to give extra, we would give it. A few years later, God opened the door for Sandy to attend Moody Bible College's School of Missionary Aviation to become a pilot, his lifelong dream. Financially, it would be a leap of faith. And I said, well, this is God's plan. Then he'll take care of that. While confident in God's faithfulness to provide, the couple grew concerned about the mounting bills. The worries came when, you know, it was five cents in our bank account and $900 worth of bills on the table. And I'm going like, what are we gonna do? And he says, well, let's just pray about it, Trish. You know, and he prayed. And then afterwards, I said, go get the mail. And there was that $900 check the whole day sitting in the mailbox. And there was a note that says, God told us last week you were going to need this. And it was from a group of women at uh, the church I grew up in, actually in West Virginia. And they had already decided to give it to us and put it in the mail way before we knew we needed it. Eventually, Sandy earned his wings. So that's how God works. You know, He knows what we need tomorrow. We just have to stand firm and trust. The couple spent nearly a decade in South America as Sandy flew hundreds of missions into remote areas. In 2004, they retired from the missions field and discovered God's plan for their next adventure, a coffee shop. It was a struggle the first few years. I knew the Lord would take care of us, but working a small business like that is a, it's a walk of faith. Sandy and Trish continued giving and their business grew. Eventually, they began roasting their own coffee and selling it wholesale. Our business has been growing since 2013. We started tracking it. It's been growing about 30 to 40 percent a year, year over year. As their business continues to thrive, Sandy and Trish remain committed to giving. With our business, we look at it as a giving kind of a machine. That's the focus of our business, is, believe it or not, is not to sell coffee, is to generate a tithe that will go out to missionaries. Just our whole life is richer in different ways. And I believe it stems from having that heart to give. There is no better blessing than to be a, a giver. And it's like after you take that step of faith, God's not going to let you fall. It's not His character. He's going to just swoop right under you and lift you up. He will swoop under you and lift you up. Why? Because you're obedient to His Word. For Sandy and Trish, they resolved early on, we're going to give. And even when things got desperate, you're down to five cents in your bank account. Uh, God was working on their behalf. He was providing their need before they were even asking. That's an amazing thing. And you can have confidence in life knowing God is with you when you're living life God's way. Here's the principle, it's from Luke chapter six. These are the words of Jesus. Give and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over will be poured into your lap. For with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. For Sandy and Trish, they've resolved, we're going into business, not to make money, but to be able to give it away. And when you have that and you have that idea, then God is your business partner. And to see a 30% year-over-year increase in today's world, that's absolutely phenomenal. That can happen to you if you just follow the same principle. It's laid out by Jesus, give and it will be given to you. If you want to resolve this January 2020 that you're going to be a giver and you're going to be generous and you're going to do it God's way, call us and say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. How much is it? Well, it's $20 a month. That's 65 cents a day. Some of you can join at a higher level, 700 Club Gold, $40 a month. 1,000 Club, $1,000 a year. That's $84 a month. At whatever level, ask for a Pledge Express when you call. 
Uh, that's electronic monthly giving, bank doing all the work, and we can send as our gift to you Power for Life monthly teaching CDs. So if you'd like those, ask for Pledge Express when you call or you'll go to cbn.com slash give. When you give monthly on the internet, you automatically sign up for Pledge Express. We've got an $80,000 challenge before us. If we can get the red number up, 64,000 left with 31 minutes and 34 seconds. Call us now, 1-800-700-7000. Let's go to Wendy at the phones. Wendy? Hey, Gordon. Well, it's a brand new year, and we want you to make this your best year yet. Pat Robertson's latest book is called The Ten Laws for Success, and it's filled with the winning secrets you need for your home, work, and life. Take a look. These laws can bring blessing beyond comprehension. Now available, Pat Robertson's latest book, 10 Laws for Success. And I believe these laws can transform the nation, transform organizations, transform you and your family. Call 1-800-700-7000 or go to CBN.com to receive your own copy today. 10 Laws for Success, fundamental principles of growth for all situations and for all people. People, no matter what your station in life. End confusion. Find answers. Reach your goals. Ten laws for success. Keys to win in work, family, and finance. Get Pat Robertson's latest book, Ten Laws for Success, and start winning today. Call 1-800-700-7000 or go to CBN.com. Available now. The law of reciprocity, the law of greatness, the law of miracles, just a few of the laws you'll learn about in Pat's new book, 10 Laws for Success. And the best part is these, this is not man-made wisdom. These are the words of Jesus. This is all from the Bible. And Pat does such a wonderful job of making it easy to read and understand. We want you to have it. How do you get it? Just go to your phones and say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. How much is it? Great question. 65 cents a day, $20 a month. That's all it takes to become a CBM partner and to help so many hurting people all over the world and right here at home. Our number's toll-free, 1-800-700-7000, or you can log on to CBN.com. We're in the middle of an $80,000 challenge. Every dollar that you pledge right now will be matched dollar for dollar. So this is a great time to go to your phones. Terry? Mr. Lee walked miles looking for water. The only source he could find was a filthy pond. He tried to boil the water to purify it, and when that didn't work, he asked a witch doctor for help. Mr. Lee's wish was simple. He wanted fresh water for his family, but all he had access to was dirty water from a pond miles away. There was always a layer of white ash when we boiled it, and it caused things like kidney failure. After the Lee's oldest daughter died from drinking the water, the couple knew they had to build a cistern to collect fresh water so their younger daughter, Li Hua, wouldn't die too. But that meant Mrs. Lee had to leave home and work in the city to help raise money for the cistern. Meanwhile, Mr. Lee stayed home to work on the farm and tried to protect Li Hua from getting sick from the bad water. I went to a witch in the village and I prayed to the mountain gods for help to keep Li Hua healthy, but she still got sick. We didn't have much money to go to the doctor, so a lot of times I didn't tell my dad my stomach hurt. I just tied a rope around my stomach to put pressure on it and make the pain go away. It felt like someone was cutting my body with a knife and everything got fuzzy. I miss my mom so much. I said, Dad, take me to the hospital. I think I'm going to die. Li Hua's intestines were blocked like her sister's had been. She got better, but refused to drink the bad water after that. When a local pastor heard about the Lees, he contacted CBN. We built the Lees a cistern and gave them a water filter. Now Mrs. Lee doesn't have to stay in the city to help raise money for a cistern. She's back home with her family. I still remember the first time I drank the new water. I said, Dad, is there sugar in here? Now we have clean water to drink, and our souls are clean too. Because of Jesus, he touched the hearts of the CBN donors to help strangers like us. So now I believe in him. Thank you. 
You changed our lives. Changing lives is what CBN donors are all about. We say thank you to those of you who've stood with us, some of you for years and years and years. Some of you have watched this program for years and you haven't yet called and made that phone call. Do it right now, will you? Join the 700 Club. 65 cents a day, $20 a month makes you a 700 Club member. If you are already a member, go up to 700 Club Gold. That's a gift of $40 a month. If you're a Gold Club member, consider the 1,000 Club at $84 a month or the 2,500 Club at $200 nine dollars we have folks who join at the founder level that's five thousand a year four hundred and seventeen dollars a month maybe you're a chairman circle candidate with a gift of ten thousand dollars or more a year whatever you're doing do something to make a difference together we really can touch the world gordon well becky watches the 700 club every day she's seen stories of people being helped all around the world and after her house was flooded by a major storm Becky got a first-hand look at this ministry in action. I was afraid and I wanted to get out. I didn't know how high the water was gonna get. Becky and her husband, Gary, were jolted awake by the sound of their neighbors banging on the door. Beaumont, Texas was being flooded by rain from tropical storm Imelda. As they left the house, Memories of Hurricane Harvey haunted Becky. And I kept thinking, we got to get out of here because it's going to be the same way. And we didn't want to have to be rescued in a boat. And we didn't want to have to go to a shelter. I had a stroke after Harvey, all the stress. Thankfully, they drove to safety themselves and rode out the storm in an RV. Days later, when Becky returned to the house, she was heartbroken to discover her walls had been soaked again. You have to tear them out and replace them. I'm old and my health is not as good and I couldn't, I would be ready to walk away and never come back. Becky's cousin knew Operation Blessing was in Beaumont during Harvey. She told Becky we came back again to help families recover after Imelda. And before the day was over, you were here. And today you're here. God is taking care of me. He is taking care of me. He is taking care of me. Our crew of volunteers cut out the water-soaked drywall and removed the wet insulation before mold had a chance to set in. Then we hauled all that debris out to the road. We found out Becky has been a 700 Club partner for years. She was overjoyed when CBN's Operation Blessing came to her rescue. I watch it every day on TV, and I know they do great things for people everywhere. People that aren't as blessed as we are, because they don't have water and they don't have things that we take for granted. Thank you for everybody that gives, so Operation Blessing can go and help other people. And now I know they came and helped me, and I don't know what I would do. When disasters strike, we want to strike back with love, with compassion, and with very tangible help. And we do it with your help, and you're a part of it. You're a part of every disaster relief team that goes out from Operation Blessing when you're a member of the 700 Club. Why? Because a portion of every gift goes into the work of Operation Blessing. If you're not a member, join with us now. Call us, 1-800-700-7000, and say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. If you're already a member, consider increasing. Consider going to 700 Club Gold, $40 a month. 1,000 Club, $1,000 a year, that's $84 a month. At whatever level, make sure you're asking for Pledge Express, electronic monthly giving, where we get to send as our gift to you, Power for Life, monthly teaching CDs, so if you'd like those, ask for Pledge Express when you call or go to cbn.com slash give. When you give monthly on the internet, you're automatically signed up for Pledge Express. Let's go to Wendy at the phones. Wendy? 
Thanks, Gordon. Well, I just had the most fun phone call with a lady named Nicole from Fairfax, Virginia. Virginia. She's originally from Burma. She's only been a partner for a short time, but she's already increasing her pledge up to $40 a month. And she just loves the show and she loves you, Gordon. And she is so happy to be a part of what we're doing. Well, let me ask you this. If you want to build a home, a factory or the next wonder of the world, you'll need to start with a blueprint. And if you want to build a life filled with unprecedented success, you'll need this Pat Robertson's latest book. Your life needs a direction, a blueprint for success. In his book, 10 Laws for Success, Pat Robertson draws from a wellspring of wisdom acquired from a life rooted in God's Word. Discover how to bring your family economic success, build unity to achieve your goals, and grow in perseverance to reap its rewards. Get Pat Robertson's latest book, 10 Laws for Success, and start winning today. If you're looking for a self-help book to start the brand new year, look no further than this, 10 Laws for Success. This is Pat's new book, The Spiritual Secrets That Bring Blessing and Favor and so much more. We want you to have it. I've read it. It's amazing. I really want you to have this. It will change your life. How do you get it? Go to your phones right now and say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. 65 cents a day, $20 a month. That's all it takes to become a CBN partner. 1-800-700-7000. Or you can log on to CBN.com. Gordon. CBN programming can be watched in over 50 languages. We've also done disaster and humanitarian relief around the globe. For Joyce Mack, her favorite part of this ministry is our prayer team, because we were there to take her calls at all hours of the night. Retired VA nurse Joyce Mack has been an avid viewer of the 700 Club since the 1970s, when she'd tune in to hear Pat Robertson's insights. It kind of taught me how to to read the Bible, what I was to look for in the Bible. He always went into detail about what it meant or, or what a word would mean. Joyce also followed the 700 Club for another, more personal reason. She often called the 24-hour prayer center to pray for her husband, Otto, a veteran of two wars who was battling PTSD and alcoholism. I would just wake up and be upset. They're the only people I know I can call at 3 o'clock in the morning. During some of their hardest moments, talking with the CBN prayer team gave Joyce hope. We would pray about Otto's drinking. We'd pray about being patient. We'd pray that uh, God would answer the prayer. I usually slept better. (laughs) Yeah. Those prayers were answered when a friend led Otto to accept Christ. He immediately stopped drinking, and he and Joyce had a fresh start in their marriage. He was able to love more. Every day we read the Bible together. Every day Otto insisted on that. Grateful for how CBN had helped her, Joyce decided to become a CBN partner. They have this passion to have everybody know about Christ. I always feel this when they go on there and really preach your need for Jesus. And I I like that. Otto passed away in 1991, but Joyce still supports CBN, and she's grateful that the 700 Club continues to help people like her around the globe. Whether it's just to touch or to cry with them, or just whisper that God loves you, they're spreading the gospel. I think that is the most wonderful thing in the world. We are spreading the gospel. That's why we're called the Christian Broadcasting Network. We preach Christ and we preach him around the world in over 50 languages. And you're a part of it when you join the 700 Club. Why? Because a portion of every gift you make, every single gift coming in, goes into the work of CBN International to do just that, to preach the gospel. Now it's amazing what's happened over the years where we used to have the majority of our audience right here in the United States. Now 90% of our audience is overseas in nations like Nigeria, India, Indonesia, Cameroon, the Philippines. These are places where the gospel is being preached because of you, if you're a member of the 700 Club. If you're not a member, join with us. Call us, 1-800-700-7000. Now, I've got some great news from partners from Oklahoma want to add to this challenge. They want to add 50,000, yes. take it to 130,000, and let's pray. Lord, we pray for the partners in Oklahoma. 
We pray for all the donors in Oklahoma who made it possible to preach your gospel around the world. And we pray for those who are making decisions right now. Bless and increase them, Lord God. Be with them, for we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. 130,000 is the challenge amount. We get the red number up, 71,000. We got a ways to go. We're not even halfway. With 17 minutes and one second, call us now and say, yes, I want to be a part. 1-800-700-7000. Terry? Well, whenever she went to find food, Nora had to dodge a hailstorm of bullets and rocket fire. Like millions of others, she was caught in the crossfires of the Syrian civil war. Her family later escaped to a refugee camp in Lebanon. Now, Nora has no trouble getting her next meal, thanks to Orphan's Promise. Nora's village was caught in the middle of the Syrian civil war. Food ran out everywhere, and her family was forced to wander the dangerous streets searching for anything to eat. Our house was hit by rockets and gunfire, so we couldn't go back. No place was safe, and we went days without food. When we did find food, my mom gave it all to me and my brother and sister, while she went without. We were separated from my husband, and to this day, I don't know what happened to him. There was no food, and missiles flew over our head constantly. We would have died if we stayed there. My only choice was to take my children into Lebanon. Nora's family soon met Heart for Lebanon, a partner of CBN's Orphan's Promise. We started giving them large packages of food and hygiene products at our monthly distributions. Receiving the food packages is the best thing ever. It lasts through the whole month and we really enjoy it. This food means the world to us. In Lebanon, we're not allowed to work. So these food packages are all we have. Noor and her siblings attend our Hope Center, a Christian school that teaches Syrian refugee children math, Arabic, English, and science. They also learn about Jesus through Superbook. I love the Superbook episodes and seeing the miracles of Jesus, like him feeding the big crowd with five pieces of bread and two fish, or when he saved Peter from drowning. I pray to Jesus all the time and have asked him into my life. I'm so grateful for this school and what my kids are being taught. I can see the positive influence it has on them. And I'm very supportive of Noor learning more about Christianity. These are good people. Noor's mother says she feels secure knowing that her children are getting a good education and that she can feed them. There are no words to express how I truly feel. Thank you for taking care of my children and giving them hope. I tell my mom every time we sit down to eat that this is a miracle from Jesus. I am super thankful to you for giving us this food and for allowing me to go to this amazing school. I will study hard to make you proud. You know, this isn't just a nice thing that we do. This is a life-saving thing. When these refugees come into these camps, they can't work. How will they buy food for their families? Their children aren't allowed to go to school. How will their children grow up with vision and hope for their own lives? You allow us to go right into the middle of that and make a huge difference. Thank you. That's why we're asking you to go to your phone and call right now. 1-800-700-7000. When you do and you tell us what level you'd like to join at, will you also do it using Pledge Express, Electronic Monthly giving, but it allows us to put even more of your gift right into the lives of people like Noor and her family. So call now. Gordon? I've got great news. Grows Texas, a thousand club member going to 2,500. Yes. Right here in Virginia and right go Virginia, 2,500. And then uh, Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Coeur d'Alene, yes. Coeur d'Alene, you know this Coeur place. Coeur I know yeah. this place. Is it cold? I have family in this place. You have family? In yes, it is cold there. Is this family? Um, oh. No, oh. family, where are uh, you? <laughs> family's not a, the drummer's getting tired. $5,000. Yes. 46000 left. 12 minutes, 57 seconds. Give us a call. 1-800-700-7000. Well, George and Corey have both fought for their country as Marines, but their biggest battle has been on the home front, helping their youngest daughter fight a rare disease of the pancreas. This fight has taken a huge toll on the couple, emotionally, physically, and financially. U.S. Marines George and Corey were not only fellow squadron members, they are husband and wife. 
Both were sent into battle after 9-11. I knew it was gonna change everything because females were going in and there hadn't been females going into combat previously to this point. And so myself and a couple others were the first females to go forward in combat and actually fly. After returning from Afghanistan, they started a family. In 2018, George retired and began a new career. Just a few weeks later, their daughter Tilly was diagnosed with a rare disease of the pancreas and sent across the country to Boston to see a specialist. Living out of a hotel room for a month at a time, eating three meals a day is definitely, it definitely became a, ooh, because we're still feeding our three children at home. In addition to flights, hotels, and meals, the couple also paid for Corey's parents to fly to California to look after their other three children. We're still having to make sure that we've left everything in place for the kids to survive and to have what they need while we're still maintaining a whole nother household on another coast. Tilly stabilized and they returned home, but required multiple doctor's visits back in California, plus another trip to Boston. They prayed about what to do next. I quit my job. I had a job up in LA and it was too far away, so I just quit my job. And then uh, that way I could be there to kind of help out Tilly and, and everybody. That decision would mean a substantial loss of income. Thinking about finances was stressful. If I have to take all my savings and all my money out of my IRA and everything else, like that was gonna happen. Thankfully, the family didn't have to because North Coast Church contacted Helping the Homefront. Tracy Moss invited the couple over to tell them CBN would reimburse the thousands of dollars they incurred due to Tilly's illness. We wanna make sure that we get the help that you need so that you can focus on Tilly and focus on your kids. And so we wanna be here for you. Thank you very much. Thank you. We want to help support and pay for that trip back to Boston and parents' trips back here. I don't even know how to honestly to, to put it into words. It's, it's a relief, honestly. So thank you very much. This Marine family can now focus on keeping Tilly healthy without financial stress. It's going to make it easier. It takes away that stress, that worry, that burden of what if, what's next, and what do we need to do? So we can't thank CBN enough for the financial support. You can be a part of helping our active duty military families, helping the home front as a special program here at CBN. We, w we want to know that when they serve, we want to help them. They're serving our country, and whether it's uh, a spouse or a father, mother involved in active duty, the whole family gets involved in that service, and we want to recognize they're serving too. When they get into trouble, when they have financial needs, we want to be there for them. It's called Helping the Home Front. You're a part of that when you join the 700 Club. If you're not a member, call us, 1-800-700-7000. Say yes, if you are a member, consider increasing. We have 700 Club Gold at $40 a month, 1,000 Club, $1,000 a year. 2,500 Club is 2,500 a year, and then Founder, 5,000 or more a year. At whatever level, call us right now, and I've got some great news right here in Virginia, Amherst, Virginia. 700 Club member going to 2,500 Club. Yes, Welcome to the 2,500 Club. That's awesome. 32,000s left, 8 minutes, 46 seconds on a $130,000 challenge. Be a part. Call us now. Let's go to Wendy at the phones. Wendy? Gordon, I just got off the phone with a guy named John from Tennessee. He and his wife love the show, and they felt that they should increase their pledge up to the 1,000 Club. That's $84 a month. So thank you so much, John in Tennessee. It was great talking with you. Well, do you want more success in your job, your relationships, and even in your financial investments? We'll show you how to get all of that and more in Pat Robertson's latest book, The 10 Laws for Success. A dynamic new book from Pat Robertson, 10 Laws for Success, Keys to Win in Work, Family, and Finance. I believe these laws can transform the nation, transform organizations, transform you and your family. Learn how to grow in your skills and talents, the connection between service and greatness, the incredible power of unity, and much more. Get Pat Robertson's 10 Laws for Success and start winning today. 
You can start winning today. I don't know about you, but I never get tired of winning. And I know that God wants you to win in 2020. So you need to get a hold of this. Pat's new book called 10 Laws for Success, The Spiritual Secrets That Bring Blessing and Favor into Your Life. How do you get it? Just go to your phones right now and say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. It's just 65 cents a day. $20 a month is all it takes to become a CBM partner and to help so many hurting people all over the world and right here at home. If that sounds like something you want to do, hey, it takes all of us to make a difference. Go to your phones right now, 1-800-700-7000. Terry? Well, in many parts of the world, medical care is hard to find. In Burundi, a mother gave birth to premature twins, and there were no nearby hospitals equipped to take care of them. When Violette was only six months pregnant, she gave birth to premature twins. They weighed only two pounds. The other hospitals had no facilities to care for them. So I was rushed here by ambulance. On the two hour ride here, I feared my babies would die. I prayed to God for a miracle. Operation Blessing provided this hospital with solar panels that power the hospital 24 hours a day. That guarantees preemies warmth and life-giving oxygen. Violette and her babies have been here about two months, and they are still so tiny. They'll probably be here another two months, then the babies will be strong enough to go home. I still don't know if they will survive, but if I stayed at the first hospital, they both would have died because they had no incubators. Sadly, after they went home healthy, one of Violette's babies got sick and passed away before they could get back to the hospital. While Violette was heartbroken about her loss, she was still grateful to God for the life of her daughter. Violette came back to the hospital to show us how healthy and strong her baby has grown. I named her Antia, which means God has gifted us. She's truly a gift from God. Although one of my babies went to heaven, I have one here on earth. It is a miracle just to hold her. Antia has grown so strong. Without this hospital and the doctors who helped us, she wouldn't be alive today. Thank you for taking such good care of us. May you continue to help more babies like mine. Changing lives, saving lives, literally. Call now and be a part of this challenge that we're in because it means whatever level you're joining in the 700 Club, you're going to have your gift doubled. We're in the middle of a challenge and we need to meet it. $12,000 left on that 130,000 challenge. You can help us get there by na right now if you'll go to your phone and call 1-800-700-7000. Gordon? You're getting some help from Carrollton, Texas. Here's a 1,000 Club member going all the way to founder. 5000 yes. We want to go way over the top on this $130,000 challenge. Red number's down to two, and soon it's going to turn to green. You can be a part of it. Call us now, 1-800-700-7000. Well, Talia didn't want to go to school. She was constantly teased in the classroom. But her life changed after watching CBN's Superbook, and the lives of the children who bullied her changed as well. 11-year-old Talia had trouble fitting in. They called me names, and so I called them names too. We started saying mean things to each other. It hurt me so much. Talia started skipping school. She told her mom she wasn't feeling well. She went from being a happy kid to feeling sick all the time. She lost interest in everything. One day, her aunt invited her to a summer kids' camp at church in the Philippines. There, Talia watched CBN's Superbook for the first time. I saw in that episode that Jesus gave his life for us. I never knew that before. Talia prayed to become a Christian that day and got emotional as she talked about what happened. God loves us so much. He gave us everything. Jesus gave his life for me. Jesus forgave my sins. And through the Superbook app that she downloaded, Talia learned about the power of forgiveness. I said sorry to my neighbors for calling them names. And I forgave them too. I invited them to Sunday school to watch Superbook with me. One girl, Venice, came with me. And I invited my mom to come to church with me too. 
Natalia's mom has now prayed to become a Christian as well. I thank the Lord for changing our lives. When Jesus came into my life, He gave me hope. Now I have a lot of friends and I'm doing well in school. Superbook showed me that God loves me and that I should love my neighbor. We want to teach the children of the Bible, the, the, the children of the world, the stories of the Bible. We want to teach them the principles, to love God, to love your neighbor, and wonderful things are happening as a result of Superbook now being in over 50 languages, being broadcast around the world. Biggest audiences are, are Nigeria, India, uh, the Philippines, Indonesia. Just imagine the gospel stories going into the largest Muslim country of the world, Indonesia. That's made possible because people like you care enough to give. Not a member, join with us. We're going way over the top on a $130,000 challenge. Be a part of it. Call us, 1-800-700-7000. And I'm hearing from New York, New York. Here's a 1,000 Club member going to $2,500. What more Colorado founder increasing $6,200. Puxatawney, Pennsylvania, Groundhog, 2,500, doubling to 5,000. Awesome. What do you got? Here's a 1,000 Club member from Weymouth, Massachusetts, going up, lifting up to the 2,500 Club. Thank you, Marie. And someone from Mount Juliet, Tennessee, brand new, $3,000. Thank you. Let's go over to Wendy at the phones. Wendy. All right, thanks. Well, CBN programming can be seen around the world. When we first started nearly 60 years ago, we had trouble getting our signal around the block. So how did CBN become a global ministry? The answer is in Pat's latest book, The Ten Laws for Success. He founded one of the world's largest television ministries, established a leading university, and became a New York Times best-selling author. Now, Pat Robertson wants to share with you significant insights learned from a lifetime in the Word of God. In his latest book, 10 Laws for Success, Keys to Win in Work, Family, and Finance. Call now or go to CBN.com. That green number is going up. Westminster, Maryland, 1,000 Club going to 2,500. Corinth, Mississippi, 3,200. Awesome. What do you got? From Fenton, Missouri, 2,500. And from Oscoda, Michigan, 5,400. A brand new founder. Thank you. Red numbers at 50, uh, green numbers at 50. We had a $130,000 challenge, and against that, you gave yes. 181. Awesome day. Thank you so much. We leave you these words from Jeremiah. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. Watch us on Freeform on Sunday, and then we're back with regular programming on Monday. God bless you. We'll see you again.